L.R. the liberal redneck here. Coming to you from a country where the Republican Party reminds me of a cross between the Benny Hill Show and Monty Python's Flying Circus on a daily basis. The quality of their elected officials is staggeringly horrible. Their leading candidate for the presidential nomination of the Republican Party is facing 91 criminal counts and the list grows exponentially. Seriously, Republicans, is this who you want to lead our country? He's not fit to be a dog catcher, much less president. And he proved it during his one term in office. His cognitive issues continue to decline as exemplified by him declaring Republicans eat their own children and he has no obligation to defend the Constitution of the United States. His outright threats have resulted in Judge Chutkin placing him under a gag order and also declaring, You are not special. You are not above the law. You are a criminal defendant. The sad part is the fact that he is not alone. In the Senate, Tuberville has halted all military promotions, leaving us extremely vulnerable because he does not like their stance on abortion. Minority Leader McConnell has suffered a significant cognitive decline, demonstrated by long periods of silence at press conferences, where an aide has to bring him back to reality. Susan Collins blames the Democrats for not supporting Republican Speaker McCarthy. And she also called the police when someone wrote a chalk pro-choice statement on her sidewalk. In the House of Representatives, Marjorie Taylor Greene does everything in her limited capabilities to become the indicted criminal's vice president even though he tried to have his first vice president killed. Lauren Boebert sets a grand example for young voters by being a total slut at a public concert and praising her 15-year-old son for making her a grandmother by impregnating his girlfriend. Criminally indicted George Santos has been accused of fraud for stealing contributors' credit cards and running up big bills, among a litany of other crimes. Accused pedophile Matt Gates stirred the pot by causing McCarthy to be removed as Speaker and starting the current three-ring circus as Republicans try to elect a new Speaker to replace him. The last five Republican Speakers have not fared well. It is a wonder any of them want the job. Newt Gingrich was stripped of his speakership and left Congress. Dennis Hastert resigned as speaker and was sentenced for hush money and sex crimes. John Boehner resigned as speaker and left Congress. Paul Ryan resigned as speaker and left Congress. Kevin McCarthy was stripped of his speakership and vowed not to run again. This entire Republican-controlled Congress has not passed a single bill since they were sworn into office in 2022. So it makes sense that their current hopeful, jacketless Jim Jordan, accused pedophile enabler, who has not had a single bill he authored pass into law in his entire 16-year career, is vying for the job unsuccessfully after three rounds of voting. This leaves the volatile question of funding the government in limbo. Members of his own party receiving death threats for not voting for him did not help his case. It seems the Republican Party is hell-bent on shooting themselves in the foot and putting the United States of America in great danger. Thanks for listening, and remember, always vote blue.